Hello. Guys, I'm in awe of the miracles happening right now. The synchronicities. Not even synchronicities anymore. It's just like the manifestations of the fucking awesomeness right in front of our eyes. This alignment that's happening. It's just so beautiful to tune in and to flow and to watch the God in here connect with the God out here. Oh, it's such a beautiful time. So many amazing things happening. I can't wait to hear about y'all's. <laughs> Every day there's blessings. Every day. Except what I'm trying to do to do. <laughs> I saw a hawk a while ago. Oh man, these feathers are cool. They're like, these are not the hawk's feathers, I don't believe, because they're brown. But look at that. I've been finding feathers all over. Uh, this place that I happened upon is so amazingly perfect for me right now. Oh, it's so hard to know. What to do, what to do. Actually, it's not hard to know. I'm in between, like, wanting to stay in Cali where I love it so much or follow my Venus and North and No to Florida. <laughs> and I'm seeing, like, both things. So we'll see how this week plays out. <laughs> Surrounded by so much beauty and can literally do my work here. These roses, beautiful flowers, and trails upon trails upon trails. It's a new place called Flight Intestine. And um, the other day, well, it's like the other day I was getting a when the tribe thing switched, right? The, um, um, <laughs> I had to get a public storage unit because my tribe was kicking me the fuck out and I had some stuff stored at their place. And um, there's nothing that I did really. They're just protecting their, you know, energy. And the only thing that I can take responsibility for that they were right about was not keeping my word about things. Though the specific scenario was twisted and I was actually coming from a place of inte integrity. But I have been developing bad habits of like, I'll do a reading for you, I'll do a reading for you, I'll do a reading for you, and then not do them. So, grateful to own that now. But anyway, so I had to get a, a public storage, well, I decided to get a public storage unit for my stuff. And immediately there was like a download or a voice that was like, go to Santa Ana. <laughs> And if you're from California, like, fuck that. And it was like at night. It was like, I don't know, 9 or 10 o'clock at night. And I'm like, I'm not going to Santa Ana. I'm like, no, what I said was, what did you just say? <laughs> like, did you just tell me to go to Santa Ana right now? And my stomach nudged and everything. And honestly, I was like, well, I can't go to Santa Ana right now. <laughs> Dude, I've been like, Santa Ana has some bad parts. I think it has beautiful parts, too. Anyway... So, long story short, like, I couldn't afford a storage unit in Newport Beach because the prices vary. And so, I just wanted a small one, and I didn't want to pay a lot for it. And so, the address is actually says Santa Ana, though it's considered Irvine, though right across the street this place the flight is considered Tustin so I'm a little like I guess on the borders of all but anyway um so it's so neat to like because that was like two or three days ago and um <laughs> it's just 
been some amazing, like, connecting back to Earth amazingness. Um, the first, what it was yesterday? No, what is today even time? What is today? Today's Monday, so I think it was Saturday. I need to look up the butterfly, I guess I'll call it. Um, because I think maybe it's a moth too, I don't know. But if you saw my story, I had today posted a picture of it and it was sitting on my finger. There was such, there's such divinity happening right now when we like slow down and meditate more and allow the feeling in the body and the awareness to be in the body. And then like, you know, for, I know part of my individual projector design is an outer authority. And so literally signs and clues from the universe show like that. But I believe that's for everyone, like birds and <laughs> numbers and things like that. So, this beautiful tree. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. So anyway, um... You know, I have allowed myself to literally surrender and flow this past weekend, except yesterday, like a dodo, because I was like, no, I gotta do this. I gotta get this reading done. I gotta get this done. And like I did, but I can do it in a way of still, you know, being on the receptive. And I don't know, it was just very emotional with that. Like, I was just emotional, crabby stuff. But, um,. <laughs> So that was Sunday. So yeah, Saturday, um, I came over to the storage unit, which is like right ac literally across the traffic light over here and just allowed spirit to lead me, you know, like, uh, oh, check these mountains out. <laughs> I guess if you're from California, it's not a big deal, but like, I'm just so excited to see the miracles happening such a divine beautiful moment my favorite thing in the world is the spiritual stuff it really is can you see those mountains what really how did they go where are they it's so weird isn't it? i guess you can't really tell from here i'll take a picture <laughs> It's funny because one of my manifestations is i want like that i've written down years ago is i want a mountains in my backyard and a beach in my front yard or vice versa and you can literally have that here in california um so i allowed myself to be to surrender to just like okay spirit what's next as i'm riding my bike literally like okay where to where to and um i was led to this hotel which is across from here like the opposite way of the storage unit right and I know that I need to observe like the little things in my reality, right? And nature and stuff. So right as I like parked my bike and went to take a step, this butterfly or moth, I'm gonna look it up, cut in front of me, like and shown itself and I was like, okay. <laughs> Cause it's, you know, that's how spirit speaks to me. And, um, Way more prominent now that I'm allowing and um so I'm not gonna say and um in my videos <laughs> but check it anyway so this beautiful little we'll call her a butterfly or I don't know what to call her I'm gonna call her moth um totally white right on the outside she lands at my feet and so I'm like, shit, <laughs> I've been stopped by the universe to fucking meditate. <laughs> because that's how you like literally clear all the chakras. And like, it's hard for me to sit. It's not hard. It's easy to sit still, but I'm avoiding it, you know. I'm so used to, I don't know, I'm avoiding it. <laughs> and I've um, been in that do mentality, I guess, for so long. And I do meditate, but I don't sit there as long as I need to. Um, I feel as though I've cleared the root chakra, but I don't know, um, you know, how deep 
hopefully that goes. Anyway, so the, the moth sits at my feet and I mean just waits and waits and waits and waits and I'm just like, dude, all right. So I just like ground and I stand there outside of this hotel and I can see the light. I can feel the light energy in my feet like tingling and coming up and I'm trying to be patient and breathe and all of this and it is a challenge for people that hold a lot of like air and fire um, meditation it is a practice for all of us you know um, and um, what else and so finally I'm like you know I kneel down and <laughs> I put my finger in front of it and I'm like, I'm going to go sit down because then I had a realization like, okay, I'm manifesting this in my reality, right? And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and take lead over the buggy. <laughs> and I was sending it like gratitude and heart love and all of that. And, um, be real, be happy, be kind. Um, and so, so I kneel down and I put my finger down by the little buggy and I'm like, hey, I don't know if I spoke it or just thought it, right? I'm going to go sit down. Would you like to come with me? And it literally like flapped its wings so beautifully and it had like yellow and then it had like black dots. And of course, so, you know, uh, connecting to the energy and all of that. Um, I was like thinking about the transformation with the black dots and the white. And then the solar plexus of our power and courage. And um, so it got on my, it did that and then it got on my finger and I walked over with it on my finger, you know, and sat down and um, just thinking about a better background for you guys. And that little moth stayed on my finger for, um, for so long. I went and I walked with it. I sat down and it stayed on my finger and I knew that it was teaching me to be still, right? And stillness is one of my things in my gene keys. If you don't know your gene keys, please get with me. I can, you know, you can Google it too. Like just calculate your gene keys map and there is a book. It's incredible. And so <laughs> I knew that was the lesson, um, but it became so much more beautiful as I like stared. And this was like, you know, Friday night I did the acid and I had stayed up all night and I noticed when you don't sleep so much, sleep is important. It's important to rest and be in that dream world. Um, but when we sleep so much, I don't think it's healthy, honestly, because I feel more connected to earth when I don't sleep as much and eating so heavy or eating because we're used to it. Like food is a big way to dull the senses, which I've been doing as well out of avoiding <laughs> but um what was I saying anyway so I started to like look oh being connected more to nature from lack of sleep and I, I didn't feel real tired I felt good you know so that experience on that psychedelic was so healing for my brain and so awakening because things were firing like they say when they give you depression medicine right but greatly in like a very rapid, awesome way. And anyway, um, that was the night before, but so I was just in a slower state and connected. And so I was looking at the, the moth and just observing her. And she has this really like pronounced crown, like a furry little fluffy white crown. And, um, I mean, was able to sit still like a fucking master. Yes, I'm talking about a bug sitting. <laughs> How dare I call her a bug? <laughs> sitting like a master and being so still, seriously. 
and um oh 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 when did that happen was it there yeah and so at a point i'm sitting there and i'm just staring at her and i face her to me and i'm like okay well let's fucking let me fucking um eye gaze with the bug even though i couldn't really see the bug's eyes so well because your view becomes obstructed a little bit with the third eye opening like just a little bit as it's um expanding awareness i believe and um so this this moth um but it stayed like there with me you know it was very like cool connection with this this wise in synced more connected to earth than we are insect and um out of nowhere um at some point in that she i, I don't know it could be um like falls off my finger but does it in a like dramatic way she must have some leo energy you know <laughs> but it was all like and uh, you know if you know me like my kids are always like mom because i'll be like <gasps> <laughs> like I just react and so uh, oh my god and so mm. and I was like oh, but oh and what she and just landed on my leg and what she taught me in that was like um I don't have to worry because part of the surrender is being able to know that you'll be caught right so neat so then um she stayed on my leg or he wait the bugs have like i don't even know <laughs> uh i think insects are asexual right? i don't remember it was like fifth grade a long time ago but anyways um so a girl came and sat down and had a cigarette because i was sitting in the smoking section it was just a couple benches right outside of the hotel remember i was being led by spirit right i didn't know what i was gonna do that day i was like okay here's my public storage now what I see that bike hill, which is here. And I, it's so much more that I found out today. Anyway, so the girl sits there and I'm like filling my body and I'm like, okay, buggy. I wait, you know, the girl's friendly and says hi. And I wait to see like, what next? Do I dismiss this fucking wise bug that's teaching me to be still and that I'm connected to and that's connected to the earth or what? And so I tell the bug and I don't say it out loud. Uh, there's another hummingbird and I saw I've seen a hummingbird um, a green beetle which represents abundance um, I saw a hawk earlier I found some cool feathers I found sage like it's just such a magical beautiful world and I've always been so focused on money I think we all have and it makes me want to cry because I've been led to, you know, a new home, a new place to do work, like so many wonderful things this week out of nowhere. And then the signs this morning about Florida, and it was like, oh my gosh, I just wanna. So, hummingbirds, um, by the way, represent spiritual, um, it's a spiritual uh, meaning to it this place has such cool books inside on symbols like it's so divinely beautiful but back to my goddess of a moth or god um seriously dude so then i i tell the bird telepathically because i don't say it out loud and i'm like hey so i think i should talk to this human i want to talk to this human and as soon as i say that after like a pause it goes <laughs> With its like yellow fucking wings and shit. We're talking like a moth. And then it flies up. And me and the girl are just like. <laughs> and I was able to stop a person and get them to take a picture of it on my finger. Which is what I posted. And I was just like. Oh my god. What a beautiful dance. Like she allowed me to honor the human. You know. And then she flew up on the wall. And the girl chatted with me and gave me an opportunity to connect to some truth that I'm not comfortable with, you know, like using an EBT card at mothers, you know, like I like mothers, but I don't like the fact that I'm using an EBT card and that I haven't like been able to 
create to make more money and depending on resources. But at the same time, I'm like, well, be humble. It's all good. And knowing that I'm connecting with like energy. So I was just kind of viewing and observing what she was saying and how she was and things like that. And got a light from her and smoked a cigarette with her. And I just smoke like occasionally, you know, I don't really like, I'm glad that not to have the habit and stuff like that. But she got to see that ex that awesome experience, that um, little dance from the from the butterfly, or the moth. I'm gonna look it up today. I'll put it in the comments or in the description thing. And um, what else? Oh, and it stayed on the wall. And we had a conversation, me and this chick, and I could see like. How, you know, she was waiting on an Uber, she was drinking Starbucks, I could see like why she was in my reality and the common energies we'd shared, right? Um, and she commented like, who can afford $4 for Starbucks? And, you know, at one point in my life, I thought that way, you know? And uh, Mother's is the same, you know, um, as far as price. But anyway, oh wow. So many hummingbirds. Um, and so that was Saturday, and then yesterday I just, I was just in a funk. I happened to pawn some books and stuff that I was just trying to do instead of allow. And um, because time is really up to the divine <laughs> in this new 5D stuff. So today, Monday, I had a client in a reading and Zoom failed me. Calendly failed me or the link between the two. I don't know, but um, Makes me upset, you know So I recorded I couldn't log in it didn't recognize me as a host and I you know I was upset about it because I went ahead and recorded it for the client and then I don't know where to find the recording and then I had to check that and be like, no, don't get out of that energy because that energy is going to attract, like, just ruin your day. And that's kind of what happened yesterday with me. Um, you know, <laughs> and it's so much better to just allow. So this morning I went to put stuff in my storage unit and I came to back to this afternoon to do that and just came over here and... I posted some things that I, some symbols I read in a book, and it's just been a beautiful divine flow. It's an outdoor amazing office that I can do my work with Wi-Fi and, and um, nature and beautiful synchronicities. And the interesting part to all this is like, as I'm learning, right, there's two hummingbirds. I don't know if you get to see them, there's one. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, I saw this one. Um, it's the unattachment, though. The unattachment, I know, is a thing. And then understanding what we're striving for and what we're going towards and coming from a pure place, you know? And um, for my path, it, um, of course, has to do with astrology and shining that light. Um, it's so beautiful. And... Um, <laughs> It's just so wonderful to be able to share that with others as I've been shown that. And it's been one of the most beautiful things and one of the most loving things that I've ever experienced. It connects us to our light inside. It connects us to our soul. It connects us back to that pure heart energy that we lose as children. And I'm so grateful for David Palmer, the Leo King. Let's be honest, ladies. <laughs> Am I the only one in love with him? I know there's got to be more. Come on, Libras. <laughs> this has been part of my processing. So, oh my gosh, there's two hummingbirds again. <laughs> so, um, David Palmer is an amazing astrologer, and I have a bit of a unique chart, you know, and he's helped me so much I could cry. Um, when I met him in 2016, I was very much like, 
super uber excited to be at his event when he did the world tour in Dallas and um, coming from you know a normal 3D attraction of like damn he's so freaking hot I might freaking take him to the freaking bathroom <laughs> <laughs> Which is so terrible because the dude was married at the time, my god. But, um, <laughs> lately, as we're all being like tossed around, and like he's helped me realize how important it is to go away from the south node, and which I've done for so long, and I knew that and reading my own chart, you know, but but he just clarified it because if you're like a libra ascendant it can be confusing one you're a fucking libra <laughs> and you're like looking at so many option, options and then two um two um the what well, the opposite so the normal normal chart would be aries ascendant right that's the home to the first house ours is the opposite of aries so the whole chart is kind of um, a mirror or like opposite so with that being said my south node in the fourth house of um well you got a true node and a mean node which makes it even more to work look at oh there's a bunny but the mean node is in the mean is at 29 degrees capricorn in the fourth house and the true node is zero degrees aquarius in the fourth house fourth house is home and family and if you guys like have been following me like that has just never worked out right and it's broken my heart it's torn me apart it's not that it hasn't worked out right that I'm not a good mom I'm actually like really good at it it's so easy for me to be with children I love them so much um but it's not what my soul is meant to do this lifetime I mean it's not meant to it doesn't evolve my soul when I do that and we're supposed to go towards our north node. Well, my north node is zero degrees Leo and 29 degrees for the mean or average node, 29 degrees Cancer, <clears throat> Cancer, Cancerian energy. And um, so Cancer energy is the, but in the 10th house of career, our power, authority, our energy, how we're using it, what we're building, Capricorn's a builder. And so I still even more can get lost and like, wait, but, but Leo rules, oh my God, this, this bunny is right in front of me. Can you guys see it? I hope you can see that bunny just sitting there. And there's the hummingbird on the orange flower. I'm going to walk and let you guys observe that. I wonder if y'all can see. Yeah, like, too <laughs> much. But, um, wow. Can you guys see it? Let's see orange flowers. Where's the bunny? I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh, bunnies usually are like... Um, and so Leo rules a lot of things. It's the heart space, romance, children. And so constantly I can tell myself, wait, do I have it wrong, you know? And he's clarified that. Like, he's literally guided me in his astrology so much this past, like, couple months. <clears throat> I've never been shown so much love. For someone to awaken the light in you and to walk with you basically to help you to that magnitude to be able to help you uncover what <laughs> what we get lost in you know It's so easy to get off our path, especially if you have Libra energy. So Libras, maybe, <laughs> maybe you feel the same. Maybe, I wanted to bring this up because David Palmer has, the Leo King has um, mentioned stalkers and stuff like that. And I thought, well, maybe we can help him and maybe I can help others too. Um, because this is a strong way to show someone love, which can really get people kind of off 
focus and for him it probably really um one obviously it's uncomfortable but i mean the amount of followers he has the amount of lives he impacts and it's usually women right or into this stuff and so if you have ever felt like because i know people have just shown up at his place like at night and like in the middle of the night just knocking and you know they're a little lost and confused ne uh, neptune will do that and um which rules pisces which rules spirituality and other things if you feel as though he's talking right to you he is but he's also talking to so many people that he's helping it's just so beautiful to be able to be so embodied in your light of your own heart to where you've dedicated yourself to this like beautiful work like he has and so we all need to you know respect him and understand that he is like someone who's embodying a great spiritual beautiful light and in, in the most awesome real way right which we start to even tell ourselves different things and convince ourselves of these things um for me to just know that though you know know that he's yes talking to you and when he says like things like come on the boat and you know that and that he's speaking like if you feel called to go to like to come to california if you feel called to it's what you feel it's what you feel called to do with your intuition your gut feelings like don't get confused you know um He's someone that needs to be respected and shown, like, and I know everyone respects them and loves them, but, like, we got to be able to differenti differenti differentiate and not, you know, um, that. And so I just think it's worth bringing up, um, you know, we have to be grounded enough to know, like, okay, if I want to just, like, for me, myself, when I first moved here, I just popped up at his office, you know, and gave him a Sprite and a crystal and a business card. And I do that with my family, too, and it makes some people uncomfortable when you just pop up out of nowhere, you know? And um, so you want to, you know, reach out and call him and make it like that or, you know, or just check in when we're like totally checked in with ourselves, which I wasn't at that time either. I wasn't like confirming. I'm just starting to do that. That's a week. The fucking minds or whatever. Oh, shoot, my battery's going. All this like stuff's like, it's time, it's time, it's time. And thank God that I really feel like you know, you guys saw maybe I posted a video that's really crazy about the darkness and, you know, I've been living in homelessness since past September when I came back from Mount Shasta and I was like, oh, I got to go back for my van. And then I get back and the day I got back, my van was gone. And so I was living in my van and, you know, I haven't wanted to discuss this thing so I've kept it hidden out of fear for my children and I'm like well maybe if I like work at high vibe and not put it on YouTube but that's just fear like anybody that's trying to use things against you will and when we practice our power like when we the thing about it that I respect and love so much about David that he which is so many things but basically leo energy because my my north node is in leo and i need to chase that and my mars is there so i do chase that <laughs> but well also the whole point of bringing all this up too was this is the point of what i love so much about him not only does he bring this light awareness of connecting people as an astrologer to their back to the energy but he's raw and he's real and he tells the truth and he's not doing this fakery shit that we've seen in churches like oh you know don't say fuck say it outside of church don't say don't smoke smoke outside of church like that's nothing to do with god like um do you realize god's like saying all this the whole time and i'm not speaking god isn't a masculine man that came as a loving teacher but to each his own all the time i was christian for a decade and that was definitely my truth at that time but so what 
you know, what it's forced me to do in my processing, processing and process of uncovering my truth. Because before I left Texas to come to California, because I just wanted to liberate myself from all of my self node stuff that was really destroying my life, no matter how much I tried, no matter how good I was, it just wasn't working. And um, I honestly needed some kind of love and because I had lacked friendships, because I had lacked real family connections and because I felt a divine connection when I met David and of course this 3D like ah! <laughs> um, um, my mind um, created so many stories. I put our charts together and I was convincing myself of like how much I love him and all this stuff. It was really weird. And, but I knew I was subconsciously doing it because I needed some, that kind of love to help me. Some, something to love, to draw me, that kind of passion, right? And I wasn't connected to spirit as much at that time. I was depressed and, and sad that my life with my children wasn't working and that this court system had done this and I had never done anything wrong. No drugs, no, um, what was it? Like violence, no this, no that. It was like silly stuff, a picture and you know, of like a cat scratch, it was just so silly. But it was me not knowing astrology. This is why children should know it. This is why we should all know it. But the love I created, the what I felt when I met him, and the love that I felt, which was truth, the rawness, the realness, the truth, the the recognition, you know, um, that he could see that it, I was a light worker. Who the fuck knows what he saw? I do wonder that, you know. Um, but so I attach stories to that and I allow for reasons, you know, I allowed my love for him or my attraction to him as a spiritual, awesome, raw, real cool motherfucker, whatever, all the things to pull me out of that. Right. And then I forgot that I did that and I, I just became obsessive, you know, and that's all I would think about. Well, lately I've been like, okay, well get rid of these stories about this. Like, and I've become more aware of why I love him so much. And I don't mean to say that now as this like wrote, I mean, you know, sure. Like who wouldn't want to date the Leo King? <laughs> I was going to say romantic, but like, that's not what I'm speaking about right now. Right. I mean, to me, he's a fucking 11, yo, <laughs> but cause he is, but I've really been like able to process more and the acid helped a lot. Um, understanding myself and I knew that what I saw in him and my in him is what I loved about myself that I hadn't taken action on. You know, being your divinely genuine self, being raw, being real, showing up. And what's crazy is the amount of stuff that covers our truth. And I just love that he embodies his truth and his light work so fully. And in that, we have to actually uncover the truth if we're that disconnected from it, if we're that far away. The most beautiful thing I find about him is that he has a heart to please God. And... And that's always been a thing, like, since I followed him. That's always been what has really attracted me to him the most. Because it, it in my world, in Texas, Houston, it was rare to see such a raw, real, passionate, spiritual person. You know, we had churches. And um, my husband I met at church as, like, on his, you know, he would play the guitar. But, you know, astrology will show you. It's just, there's so much fakery that we've been through in relationships and all kind of stuff. And I've never seen someone fully embody their truth, no matter what. And then knowing astrology and him having that Mars and Scorpio, being able to go into the dark places and uncover. It's just so beautiful. We are so blessed to have someone to teach us to show astrology to these people they need it it is light 
you know, and so if you have found yourself super attracted to him in like a 3D way, like, please like take a moment because that's not cool for someone of that, like, to embody like their God energy that strongly and, you know, out of a place of unconditional love, you know, too, and purity. Uh, we don't want to make him feel unsafe and for him you know um i would say make sure to not um maybe to to not um focus on that because you know we bring more of that and remove any fears of that you know um stalking is an ugly ugly flavor um that i am definitely not comfortable with and to think that I've sent him so many different messages over the years that that could have been portrayed that way is just so gross to me. Or that where my mind was when I met him in person, it's not that it's gross. It's kind of funny to me because, you know, sex. But, <laughs> but when you think about how he embodies that royal sun energy to show up for God, it's just so beautiful. So have your personal boundaries check yourself know that he is tr speaking to all of us getting us back to the light within us it's because he embodies it so greatly and uncover your truths because the truth will tell you in the body in the feelings of the body that you get to experience through meditation my third eye activated through a dmt experience with a shaman um in a beautiful healing house. I think that matters. There's a beautiful butterfly. But, um, so I love you guys and I hope this was helpful. And, you know, if there's anyone that you're doing that kind of thing with, like sending messages, just showing up, like we have to have personal boundaries for people. And, you know, your truth is found in your body. The energy will resonate. The energy will flow. It won't flow if you're giving someone a fear like that. And we should, you know, all say a prayer for him um, and send out good vibes that he could be healed of this energy. Because, you know, we're all attracting things in our lives of um, that he has, you know, stalkers and stuff like that. So let's just, this butterfly is so pretty. I think you guys might see it. Um, so let's go ahead and just um, send out some heart energy for him. sending heart energy for him to release and clear anything that believes he has stalkers and in his mind to catch those words and to change it and the angels and guides are protecting such a royal badass Ow! and was there anything else I want to do in this video I don't believe so I've got to do a couple written reports or I gotta flow I love you guys peace